With the release of Season 2, there certainly have been some bumps in the road, and 3 for 3 has actually addressed those and actually made some back-end patches, so we're going to talk about that. The Halo TV show is a certified hit, and we have some leaked customization that you guys are definitely going to want to check out. But if you want to know more, stay tuned throughout the whole video to understand all the details. <laughs> So there have been some issues with progress on challenges tracking properly and there's been some back-end updates here saying that Halo Infinite team has deployed a back-end update that allows Rumble Pit and Last Spartan standing matches to progress the free-for-all challenges. If you're currently playing, close out the game and relaunch it, but I'm sure by this point this update has gone live, which went live on May 3rd, then you guys know that you're probably right at that point. So at least 343 is taking some steps forward to fix things and they got another fix for Last Spartan standing as well. Which I'm sure a lot of people were having this issue where people were leaving the match, which you can do for Last Bar and Sydney, but then the tr challenges were not tracking for some reason. But now that has recently been fixed. They improved the challenge tracking after leaving the Last Bar and Sydney matches early, which you should be able to do. And tra challenge progress should be consistently tracked now. So if your friends are telling you to not leave a match because of challenges are not going to track well they're giving you faulty bad information that should be working out from my experience when i was streaming on tuesday it was seeming to track just fine for me so my biggest issue that's going on right now with halo is the br shots not registering every time you pull the trigger there's a bit of a weapon jamming bug that's going on right now with the recent addition of the trigger stops and also the trigger dead zones and stuff like that but it's not only this like we're showing this 100 jjx clip where you can see his controller he's pulling the trigger but then the shot just doesn't come out of the battle rifle and he loses the gunfight because of it this is like a huge issue that i can't believe made it into the game and 343 has actually addressed this right now in response to a former halo pro mick Wynn, talking about the buggy jamming issue unicheck who's the community manager said that the team is going to take a look into these reports and we'll follow up with more info we haven't had that more info yet but at least they know of the issue and they are looking into it and this is a big issue for me because i'm basically not gonna bother trying to play any kind of ranked modes because like if my gun doesn't shoot i mean that's a huge issue and hopefully this gets addressed very soon because I love playing ranked, but I'm just not going to try to bother playing competitively when the gun just doesn't work. In some outside Halo Infinite news, we got the Halo TV show that's going on right now. I know a lot of people have their certain opinions on it. Personally, I have been enjoying it, but it looks like it's actually been a really big hit for Paramount. According to Benji Sales here on Twitter, who's a gaming journalist and information kind of guy, he said during a Paramount earnings call, which these calls are public so you can listen in on it, and they said that Halo is a huge global hit, which is... Great to hear for Halo. Saying that they saw Paramount Plus subscriptions would go from 6.8 million subscribers to now to 40 million. That is just because of Halo. And that Paramount's revenue because of Halo grew 148%. That's a huge jump to 585 million per quarter. This is a huge progress when it comes to reaching out to a broader audience for Halo. I love the fact that the Halo TV show is doing so well for Paramount. Now I know all of you Halo fans have your opinions about the law and the lore accurate stuff and the, some of the changes that they made to some characters, but the fact is Halo is succeeding and that is a good thing for Halo overall. And personally, I've been really enjoying the show. I've been doing episode reviews on the channel. I've been a little bit behind because I got thrown on the Kansas City event for HCS. And so I kind of have lost track a little bit, but I'm definitely going to catch back up with the series. And we will definitely do a season review once the season concludes with episode nine. And the Halo TV show has been reviewed very well on IMDb here with almost 30,000 reviews. A 7.1 out of 10 on IMDb is actually really good since IMDb is a little bit more conservative with their scoring. And on Rotten Tomatoes here, showing that the critic rating given a 70%, while user rating about 55. I mean, user ratings, I'm sure it can be a fluctuating kind of thing, especially when it comes to per episode, and also the fact that it's not lore accurate, that you have a lot of people just dropping like one star reviews because it's not lore accurate, rather than just reviewing the content for what it is. I mean, for a little bit of a comparison here, we have 68% from reviewers on Rotten Tomato, and then 59% from the audience, and I like the book of Boba Fett a lot. I thought it was a great show. But it looks like we're we're gonna have some actual content from the Halo show within the game as well, but it might not be exactly what you're hoping for. There have been a series of leaks that have come out since the release of season two that a lot of data miners have come up, pulled out, and they found this right here. This is the icon thing that's in the TV show. Looks like it will be a weapon charm coming in to the game 
for Halo Infinite, which is really cool to see. Obviously, I, I think, I'm sure we're all kind of hoping for like the armor sets from the TV show to make their way in, but I'm sure that probably requires a little bit more access to detail, maybe in a brand new core even or on top of that. Diving into some more leaked information, it looks like the Academy might actually be like some form of a playable space, if you want to call it that. Uh, we've been seeing a lot of leaked images come around here of just showcasing the Spartans walk being part of the Academy area that we saw within the cutscene, right? And so this could be something that maybe happens within the second event that comes around later this season when it comes to the Lone Wolves multiplayer storytelling. So it'd be really interesting to see what happens. There's been some really interesting leaks tied to this as well. Like this leak right here with the Yoroi armor set, but check it out. Check out the shoulders, man. These shoulders are straight up dragons on your shoulders. This looks absolutely sick and actually will probably make me want to use the Yoroi armor set because there's not that much customization for it. There's some new armor effects that were leaked out as well. We showcase like some kind of floral shoulder pad kind of thing, some like bunny looking ears. I also have like these cracked kind of like heat wave kind of looking shoulder like feet steps, I guess you want to call them. I don't know what the heck they are. You get like breathing fire effect right here and also like a cool hologram that's on your wrist arm, which looks awesome. We also have some leaked images of the new fracture event that's gonna be coming for us guys calling entrenched and it's actually really great stuff. There's no challenge swaps, no XP gains, just like coatings. You got some emblems and next in there as well, but you got like actual armor sets tied to the event itself, some new coatings and things like that. Um, no word if any of this is gonna be cross core available. If so, that would be great. But my assumption is that since they mentioned previously that all canon armor sets will probably have a little bit more mix and matching available while the fracture event stuff might be just kind of left to itself. But looking over this, like it's pretty interesting interesting stuff like it i don't know if i'm really too into this armor set as much as like the yoroi armor set i mean it does look nice but like a lot of these things are just kind of like i don't know i just don't really know what the heck these things are but i mean they look all right here's a leaked image of an event that's been coming around called the alpha pack which will give you some more customization for the rakshasha if that's how you pronounce it right uh armor core obviously some really great stuff mixed in here you got that shoulder piece that we talked about with that armor effect you got some new coatings and some new shoulder pads and stuff like that so good content to be added in on top of customization and it's going to be free so that's going to be great now a very interesting leak here from Sereja. he's a rather credible leaker like at least he's able to find the stuff within the game not all of it comes to truth so you have to look at these leaks as kind of like you know take your own type of opinion on it but it seems like we might have cyber showdown return for halo infinite he tweeted out this image doing a little bit of data mining and showcasing that the public name of this is going to be cyber showdown Olin, King of the Hill. So we could maybe have like a King of the Hill specific thing saying slice and dice in this retro future King of the Hill mode. So maybe like swords only King of the Hill with like Cyber Showdown kind of effect to it or something. That would be kind of interesting, especially since we have so many months for season two, right? That like it would be really nice to have the chance to just like have something to do within those months. Like it seems like the amount of content that we have from like right now until about August is going to be pretty good content wise. But from August to November, things are looking pretty bleak, honestly, when it comes to things to do within the game. So they might even bring back some old events like Cyber Showdown just to kind of spice things up. And in case you might have not had a chance to grind out the content for that event, you might have a chance to do it, which I think would be honestly a great idea for 343 to do during these like down months between new seasons. Obviously it's a leak, we'll have to wait and see if it happens and also take it for a grain of salt, but hey, it's in the game somehow. But if you're new to the channel and missing any content from me recently, check out this playlist right here. I got a link to all my Halo news and informational videos right there. Thanks so much for watching. Greatly appreciate it. Catch you on the next one. Peace out.